anybody knows any jobs where you get paid $17 and up to really not have to do shit and you don't need to be certified to do it, please let me know. I'm just fucking tired of pharmacy. For five years, I'm good. Every pharmacist I meet, they don't like their fucking job. I got pharmacists that are trying to go to being part-time pharmacists because they don't want to, they, they don't want to do this shit no more. I don't like jobs and where like, you're obligated to have to let people talk shit to you and you still gotta provide them with service. I can't tell people to go fuck themselves. I'd rather just not deal with people. Fuck hospital pharmacy. I just don't wanna do pharmacy at all. It is just exhausting. You know, it's one thing to be tired of your job. It's another, bro, when you dread going into that motherfucker. Like you, you be like, yo, I gotta go to work in four hours. And that four hours just goes the fuck by like fast as hell. And, and you know what makes pharmacy so bad is really like the expectations. Like, cause customers are always gonna be just fucking awful and, and just terrible. Every week is some new fucking shit that they have us doing. Everything's always changing. Oh, now you gotta build these kind of discount cards. Oh, now you have to promote this. Now you have to ask how many people, how many people have gotten their flu shot. Oh, if they tell you yes, you have to document where they got it from. Why is that any of our fucking business that we have to document where people get their shots from? If they don't want it, they don't want it. I hate district managers. Because to me, y'all are the most annoying. I feel like they're the most useless. Like they just, they creep up in, on people in pharmacies. Acting like, you know, they're going to catch us doing some shit. Like, it, first of all, everybody talks. So if they see a district manager, they're going to run back and say, Hey, district manager's here. And everybody's going to be on their best behavior check off list that we have at work and apparently like every time like before closing you have to check off like what your job was whether that's your data entry your a filling the return of stocks took the trash out i don't know why the fuck you have to do that everybody needs to just do their job i don't know why we have to assign who's doing what for what always behind regardless we don't have enough help oh we're gonna bring we're gonna bring a pharmacist to, to help you guys for one day and guess what it's gonna go right back to shit when they leave I thought pharmacy was about filling prescriptions? Oh no, baby. That's just a little part of it. That's not what pharmacy is about. I feel like we're fucking selling vacuums when we have to call people and add, and get all up in their business and ask, I right, so how's the metformin treating you? Why are we doing that? That's why I know like I would be a shit pharmacist because I don't fucking care. I don't give a shit. Like, I don't ask people if they want to get their, their flu shot because I care. I have to do that. Don't get it. I don't give a fuck. To me, pharmacy has just caused me to be even double the amount grouchy. I hate pharmacy. It's just a shitty fucking field to go into. Somebody made this intern cry, like, I think a month ago or so. Like, she had just graduated, like, back in May or some shit. And we had to call the doctor on, like, a dosage because the dosage was too high for a kid. And this bitch just goes the fuck off on my pharmacist. And my pharmacist started crying. I'm just like, you know what the district manager would have said? They would have been like, well, you know, people only do that because they're, they're, you know, they're having a bad day. Why, why do they always try to justify like getting yelled at is okay? I go to Taco Bell and I'm like, oh, what the fuck are my tacos, nigga? Am I, is that going to make it okay? No. I don't give a fuck what personal shit goes on in your life. Don't take that shit out on people that are just trying to do their job. If that if that high ass dose would have went in your kid's mouth and that girl, you know, something bad would have happened, then you would have been trying to sue. Then you would have tried to snatch people's licenses and all that other shit. People want their shit rushed, but then when shit's done wrong, then, you know, they're mad. But, oh, this isn't what I wanted. Why the fuck did you pay for it? You didn't ask any fucking questions, dickhead? Really? I yesterday was like, do you guys know when you're going to be doing the COVID? vaccinations i was like no nah, i have no idea he's like well hopefully you guys start calling you know your elderly patients first to come get it done and in my head i'm like i sure hope so i hope so too because honestly the first people that take that the first pack of wolves that take those that that immunization you're gonna die frankly old people nag the most so yeah i hope you guys are the first people to get phone called and get the shot i'm only taking that shot if i absolutely fucking need to if they say, get this shot or get fired, depending on how I feel, I don't know. I'm just in a I don't give a fuck mood. I may just like be like, well, fuck it, I quit. Hopefully like with the vaccine, does that mean life's gonna go back to normal? Does that mean no more fucking masks? Because I am just over 
the mask shit you can't look cute no more people don't know what the fuck you look like i've just it's just caused me to be even more mean to people they're even rude you know how many people i've cut off on the phone because they just they they for some reason can't say hey i need to see if my medicine's ready they feel the need to tell you what time they saw the doctor what doctor they saw what kind of scrubs the doctor had on what did the doctor have for lunch what did they have for lunch what is it what, what, what do you need i don't know why sildenafil is just so fucking like crack it must suck to honestly have erectile dysfunction and i'm just keeping it but it must it must make you feel like less of a man though because it's not like a masculine thing like I mean, nobody wants to take pills to be able to fuck. But even men that get so irate if their Viagra is not ready. And I'm like, you do realize you have to take this like 30 minutes to an hour before you actually start fucking. I'm probably never going to be horny anymore if I have to take a pill, wait 30 minutes just to fuck. I'm probably not going to even be in the mood. Because I like spontaneous sex. I like sex and where we don't plan it out. I just want to have sex. Like or oh, in the kitchen damn you look good let's have sex like that's what i want to do i don't want to be like well i'm horny hey take a pill yet oh 25 minutes left and we could have sex i don't do that silly shit the fat bitches that come in with fentramine pills you know they'll be as big as a house and i'm just like did you try exercise as if you're not going to take your overweight ass to chick-fil-a anyway and get yourself a number one with a with a diet lemonade even though it's all still full of sugar i don't need a job and where i have to small talk with people i hate small talk i hate asking people how are they doing i hate when people ask me how am i doing don't talk to me I'm not friendly but i'm not mean i'm not like ugh. i'm not like that i know i can come off that way but i just don't understand the point of small talk Oh my god, your hair's blue? Wow, it matches your scrubs. Great fucking observation, Cheryl. I'm glad you know your colors. That's great. The cliche jokes that you get from customers. Oh, well, your name's Alexis? Like the like the machine that can like like do things on itself? Oh, you mean Alexa? No, I'm I'm not a machine. Different name, sir. If you're gonna make a joke, can you make it make sense? Can it be correct? Can it be valid? This is what grinds my gears when 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 pharmacists try to counsel patients and they feel the need to like just talk over the pharmacist and let them know why they're taking it nobody fucking asked let them read off what the fuck's on the label and even whatever's on the label they still feel the need to call and say how am i supposed to take this can you not read it is on the fucking bottle if you're counseling questions don't even be like challenging questions like who in this day and age doesn't know what to take for a headache or for allergies people be like i have a headache what should i take everything aleve ibuprofen tylenol etc i mean i don't i don't know and if that shit doesn't work you may have a fucking tumor go see your doctor remember some weird ass dude when i used to work at walmart some weird ass man came in and he had some ibuprofen and this man asked excuse me um sorry to bother you which first of all you're never sorry to bother somebody because if you were sorry you wouldn't be bothering me I need to know if these products were made in the u.s what difference does it make it's ibuprofen i said sir i don't know like on the back it looks like there's a manufacturer address in ohio okay but like i need to make sure like this is actually made. well whatever weird shit some of you have whatever issues that some of you just have stay the fuck in your house you people that worry about people not wearing their face mask correctly, shut the fuck up. I'm not one of those people that don't wear my mask, but I'm just like, I'm not gonna give a fuck if somebody doesn't wear theirs. Oh my God, he's wearing his mask underneath his nose. It's a pandemic going around. People have been dying from AIDS. People have been dying from the flu. People have been dying from HIV. People have been dying from cancer. What difference does the COVID vi virus do? Die in car accidents. Do they fucking get rid of cars no you just drive at your own fucking pace white lady it's always a white bitch always in somebody else's business there's this guy walking around you know he's not wearing a mask correctly and you know i i i i wanted to say something to him and i hope you would have said something to him because i wish he would have turned turned around and called you everything but the child of god i wish because i would have just stood there and been like good for you sir and you know the ones that want to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with you when you clearly stated the prescription's not there and they're just like 
No, but I the doctor called it in. Oh, you actually sat in his lap and saw him send it over, or did you see him going? When in reality, she was just ordering her Wingstop lunch online. Oh, it's not here. Well, it should be there. Did you not hear what the fuck I just said? Back to back bullshit with me, because I'm not gonna argue with you. I'm gonna start hanging up on people. I can like I can't hear people, and I'm just gonna hello, hello, hello. I'm just gonna hang up on people. I'm calling on behalf of my my husband. My name is Susan. No, I, I didn't ask what the fuck your name is. Who's a prescription for? Lock up window, which is just an awful fucking idea. Like, bring your ass in the store. I hate that fucking window. I ring the doorbell, but no one came. Yeah, because we're busy. I wouldn't stand there like a fucking idiot. I'd come inside. That's what I would do. Um, I, you know, why was nothing ready for me? The prescription was called in two weeks ago. Why, why have I not heard anything? Why did you go two weeks without calling us is my question. I'm not a good listener. So for me, it's like, if I'm calling you because some directions are incorrect, you know, you get those doctors that speed through shit. Oh, it's gonna be one gram, take my mouth, or oh, the first three weeks, da, 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 da. whoa, 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 bro, what? Fax it over, because I'm confused. Doctors that call in streams that don't even exist, don't know how that works. Doxycycline, uh, 3,000. That doesn't exist. Where did you get that number from? Well, let's do 5,000. That doesn't exist either. Cover sheets. Oh, if it's a control, it has to have a fact sheet. All the rules and regulations are just annoying. It's so busy. Like, I can't be fast-paced and remember every fucking step because I'm going to literally skip a step and I'm gonna fuck up. And I don't want to hear anybody's mouth about how, oh, we gotta get it done as soon as possible. 90-day supply. No, it's for a 30 told you guys i want first of all i never spoke to you so pipe the fuck down with the i spoke to you guys shit i just got here i don't want to be here you want a 90 day supply i will give you a 90 fucking day supply i will make a note on your profile if niggas miss that note that is on them but bitch do not act like we spoke I get like i don't like to get fussed at by a white person for a whole fact that's a whole fact i really don't because i already feel like they're racist and like entitled anyway so like i fucking hate when they just feel the need to like act all macho macho and like yell at you you medicaid patients jesus christ y'all are the worst y'all have a brand new apple phone and you're complaining about four dollar ibuprofen that the insurance won't pay for is that on medicaid uh no your medicaid didn't go through stop giving us terminated fucking cards that'll that'll help ran on your insurance and didn't go through oh well i got a new insurance card so you called me for what I have people call and say hey you're my doctor's supposed to be calling in a prescription just letting you guys know why the fuck did you call us there's this weird ass old white man that brings in mints every time he comes to the pharmacy he'll give us a mint first of all i don't take shit from strangers ew secondly there's this virus that's going around and um why would i take anything from somebody with this vi virus going around wait till they start regulating those fucking shots it's like oh you can't get your car inspected because you don't have the logo on your id that states you've been vaccinated you can't rent this this home or buy this house or rent this apartment because you didn't get your vaccine yeah that sounds cute for y'all to sit up and say like i'm not taking that shit no, but if they regulate it and it's some shit that you need oh you'll get it you'll get the shot old people y'all they all are the first ones that are going to be out of here when that vaccine drop get that shot if you want to y'all will be out of here quick uh, get his old ass the fuck out of here um and, and take take that nigga's organs too doctors have a morgue in the hospital for a reason I'm convinced that some of them probably kill their own patients. Well, they're just like, ah, this nigga's not gonna make it. If you're on that ventilator, there's an 80% chance you're out of here. That wasn't me saying that, that's Google saying that. If you go to the doc, that's why doctors try to keep you so fucking long. Oh, I feel fine, I can go home now. No, 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 we have to run more tests. It's just weird, like it's the weirdest. It's almost like they try to hold you hostage. Like you have to beg to go home. You know, once your insurance is up, then they're like, oh, you're free to go. Cause they know your broke ass can't pay for it. So that's when they'll let you go. And if you ask any pharmacist, like, hey, are you happy with your job? Like, sincerely, they're, they're always gonna, there's always going to be like a, mm, not really. I feel bad for the ones that just graduate. They have no idea what the fuck they're getting into. Imagine being thousands, hundreds of thousands of dollars in debt. And now you feel obligated to have to stay in this field, even though you don't like it, because you're in debt. We had an intern, and that woman, that girl barely showed the fuck up.
she didn't even meet her required hours like she was constantly calling the fuck out she never really came like that and she wasn't getting paid so that's why like part of me was just like oh i feel you on that like i wouldn't do no labor work if i wouldn't get paid a lot of people go into it thinking oh it's just you're just counting pills all day that's not the case in the clinical work you have to make sure you get so many everything's number based you have to type so much you have to type at a certain speed you have to make sure that oh nothing gets sent back to you uh, we work harder than honestly i feel like nurses do but i'm just saying like some of y'all calling bullshit remember i saw a prescription one day it was a z-pack a steroid dose pack or some shit like that and then like a coughing capsule but for the for the quantity for the capsule it was like four ounces and i'm like this is not a liquid so how the fuck are okay we're the ones that always have to call and like correct them and do all that like bro we don't make enough for this shit pretty soon <clears throat> they're gonna have technicians doing doctor shit pharmacists are already pretty much doing doctor shit they're giving antibody tests they're testing people's blood sugar they're testing people's heart rate they're testing all that pretty sure they're, they're gonna be writing prescriptions In some states pharmacists can they can prescribe you um birth control which i did not know that like that's pretty interesting but i'm not surprised oh, hi. we just want to make sure like you know you're taking your medicine on time why do, why should we care don't take it i don't care you need it you have high blood pressure i don't i don't have an i care like personality like i just want to i want to come to work and work i don't want to come to work and help people i don't want to do that I'm not a people person I don't like small talk. I don't like people nagging to me about shit that isn't my fault or shit that I just, okay, I have no control over that. Like, what do you want me to do? Take, 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 take that shit. I don't want to do that shit no more. Fuck this field, bro. If you're thinking about doing pharmacy, bro, don't do it. <laughs> Cause yeah, it pays a lot for a reason because you're gonna be mentally fucking drained. You're gonna be exhausted. You're gonna hate your job. Like you're gonna be sick of, sick of it. All the changes, all the expectations, they just go up, 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 up. The fuck? Document this. Oh, now you don't document this. Oh, you can use coupons on this. Oh, now you can't use coupons on this. Oh, you have to say, I remember one time my farm, my uh, district manager corrected some girl because she called our program, a program to a patient. And he was like, oh, well, could you not use the word program when speaking to the patients? Nigga, that's what the fuck it is. What are you talking about? Can you not use it? Didn't like him ever since. He just gave off my my um, my old district manager's vibe. Any ideas? Any fucking, hey, you should do this. I won't do security. Please don't. Please, for the fuck's sake. Please don't tell me to do security. I will not be doing that. Any jobs that pay pretty well. 16 and up. You don't have to be certified. You don't have to deal with people. I would really appreciate that. All right, bye.